There were lots of hugs. Lots man of, on uh, man hugs. Because <laughs> we're not scared. Real men sometimes hug each other, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. A single tear fell down. <laughs> it's okay, big guy. It's okay. Come on. There was lots of this, and uh, a single tear went down Rob's face. Didn't it, mate? Come on. You're sweating. Powder, can I get some powder? <laughs> we filmed our last ever um, scene only last night, and that's very much in my heart and in my head at the minute, and will be for a very long time. It's tragic. <laughs> One of my favourite memories that I take away will be playing Bananagram with Maggie Smith and quite often beating her, which makes her very, very cross. I didn't think I would be sentimental about it at all. Oh, sh I'm sh Look, you've, you've lived with this. I'm oh, sorry. A bit. Pan over that way and you'll see Mrs Hughes giving me grief. Wait, shall we wait till you finish? Well, it was ever thus. It was ever thus. Shall we, shall we wait till she's finishing rabbiting on over there? Although nobody could do a better job than him, I have to say. Mostly, I think he's the best character. Well, I don't think I'd have been a very good Lady Edith, uh, and even worse Daisy, so it'd have to be uh, the Dowager Countess, who would have to be Maggie Smith's part, partly because she got all the best lines. <laughs> You've got to say me because I'm not oh, yeah, here. Yeah, Rob. I'll miss Jim most. <laughs> I shall miss Phyllis Logan, Mrs. Hughes the most, and all the crew because, I mean, we worked with the crew every day. Uh, and they were, although they're behind the camera, we couldn't do without them, all their hard work. So, collectively, them, individually, Mrs. Hughes. I miss all of them. I mean, obviously. Um, Mr. Carson is very close to my heart as Mrs. Hughes, but also as an actor. You know, we, we do a lot of stuff together and we have such a laugh and we and we've just you know, we're really fond of one another. We've had a great we've had a great duo. And also the other downstairs law, Mrs. Patmore and, and Sophie McShade over here. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, and, one of the things that one can never anticipate prior to doing a job is new friendships. So before I started Downton Abbey, I'd worked with most of the grown-ups, so I'd worked with Maggie and Elizabeth and Penelope and Phyllis, and I've known Jim and... Um, good, that's good, Hugh, for years. But I, I couldn't, you couldn't have anticipated the love that I feel for my girls. And I keep welling up when I say this, which is really bad. But to take away the friendship of Laura and Michelle is, a, is just such a bonus. It's huge. There was a naughty lady called Phyllis Logan. She's not. Who was either. really naughty the other day. And she, didn't she, do you remember? She shouted out a bit loud. Yeah. yeah. Phyllis has actually been really naughty this Phyllis year. Phyllis has got naughtier and naughtier. So I think they used to say a couple of the guys, but... Miss Logan's gone for the for my money, yes. the funniest and the naughtiest award. Yes, yeah, she is. Without a doubt, Rob James Collier. No two ways about that. That's a tricky one. Alan Leach is quite naughty. Michelle Dockery has a very naughty streak. Um, and Rob can be quite naughty too. I think he'll be a self-made businessman. I think he'll, he'll have moved into opening uh, theme bars up um, and he'll have the first Edwardian DJ, he'll have DJ Mosley on the decks and I think he'll be doing be very well, he'll be a self-made man, he's very ambitious Thomas. I'll be working the door of that DJ. <laughs> Skinniest bouncer you've ever seen. <laughs> Dead. Yeah, at his age, sorry, you know. I mean, life expectancy being what it was, he'll be, he'll be lying drunk in a corner with Mrs Hughes trying to revive him. Sorry to have to break this news to you. I'd like to think that she would go travelling, do, do a Europe tour. Do you know, 
because money's going to get a little bit tight, because we're going to enter the depression and everything like that, and I think that they're not going to be able to support the London House anymore. So I think that Rosamond should go and live at Downton Abbey with the rest of the family, and then when anyone needs to go to London, they can use her house. That's what I think is going to happen.